here with Avoya Travel. Today I have on Chris Green, who will be doing the webinar with me. He'll actually be doing most of it, but he is the Director of Network Expansion over at Avoya Travel. Hello, Chris. Hey, Steph, so great to be back with you and all your great guests from Host Agency Reviews. I mean, we really value our relationship with, with, your, with your organization and we appreciate the serious level that the people who participate in these webinars take with their hopes and dreams of becoming an established and successful travel advisor. So we're, we're pretty excited for the information we're going to share. Steph, are you, are you old enough to remember all the great skits from Saturday Night Live with Chris Farley? Yes. <laughs> So Chris Farley was a personal favorite and he used to have this skit where he would dress up in the really small over jacket yep. and he would yell at the kid about ending up with a horrible life living in a van down by the river. Down by the river. Yeah. Right, right. And it kind of has taken on this like iconic thing in America these days. He'd scream it at the top of his lungs like it was the worst fate ever. But here we are in 2023, right? And the fact is if that van is Wi-Fi connected and the owner of the van is dedicated to their business, there really isn't much you can't accomplish even if you are living in a van down by the river. So, uh, you know, all last that us, uh, now. <laughs> yeah, it is actually, it's a whole way of life, right? I mean, the, the digital nomads and, and we love them and we support them. And the fact is it really is a very exciting and dynamic time where technology, a resource where Avoya travels, the clear industry leader and demand have kind of created this opportunity and it's really what we want to focus on today, how your flexibility and time, your desire to lead a life you control, and that entrepreneurial spirit can intersect with elite technology and a full slate of best-in-class resources to make it all a reality, because it really is the perfect time. Demand is through the roof. There's been a shift in mentality, uh, people moving away from a desire for goods into a realm where they really value experiences, and people can turn that shift into a successful business, all while leading a lifestyle they've always dreamt about. Sounds dreamy. It sure does, doesn't it? <laughs> well, yeah. So thank you, everyone, for joining us. I see Tanya in the comments. Hello. Please feel free to drop a note in the comments. Say hello. We have April from the HAR team. There's some people from the Avoya team also that are there to answer questions. And we will be doing, hello, Misty. Um, we will be going ahead and doing question and answers. If you have them, please put them in the comments whenever they pop up in your mind. And we will, at the end, we've saved plenty of time for Q and A's. The last couple webinars we've done with Avoya, uh, the end is really great with the question and answer. So please submit those whenever they pop into your mind. Uh, but, but we'll keep going through uh, the slides, Chris, and learn more about this uh, professional freedom and the tools that you provide here at Avoya. Absolutely, absolutely. Really excited to share our best in class resources and how it propels the Avoyan network to the status that it has in our industry. So. Do you have your first question that you're going to help launch us with Steph? I sure do. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> I, I like that smooth transition. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. First question I have for you is how does the Avoya travel, how does Avoya travel empower travel advisors to work from home anywhere in the world. I know you have people all across the world. We were just talking about the advisor that was on the satellite phone on the way to Antarctica booking a world cruise for her clients. So what do you, how do you make that happen? Well, first off, Steph, this, the open sign never switches to closed at Avoya Travel, right? 365, 24 seven, because our affiliates really want that flexibility to run their business their way. And with 24-7 access to Avoya's innovative resources and support, you really can run your business and become a high-performing travel advisor while traveling to any corner of the globe. Of course, a couple little asterisks in that, right? You have to have Wi-Fi, but man, the world is opening up. Uh, Elon Musk and his, his uh, space uh, Wi-Fi is making it possible to connect your device from almost anywhere in the world. And as long as you can, you can access those elite resources while providing exceptional service to clients. Agent Power, Avoya's cutting edge technology solution is the powerhouse technology that makes remote work a reality for over 1,500 independent travel advisors in the Avoya network. And here's our first stat, Steph. I know you love stats. Over 97% of surveyed independent agencies in the Avoya network believe Agent Power allows them to work from anywhere, even outside of their home offices. Thanks to Agent Power, you can work, you can travel, whether you're traveling to your daughter's soccer game or maybe sitting on that sandy beach in Bali, sipping a, hot, a cup of hot coffee in, in Europe. If you bring passion, dedication, engagement to your business, 
an engagement to the business model of whoever you're partner with, right? You have to be engaged in the concept that you're a business owner. And then if you engage in the concept of our shared success, the world is yours to explore. And great advisors do just that as travel is one of the best benefits for selling travel. Exactly. You know, I'm going to change the screen layout because I just popped up this QR code where people can learn more about Avoya and their program, but I noticed it covers your logo. So let me just change this over and boom. All right, there we go. Um, you got so, the power. <laughs> <laughs> look at me. I'm just a producer behind the scenes. So if you'd like to learn more about Avoya's program anytime during this, as you're watching, you can scan the QR code and it'll take you um, to their website where you can learn more about the tools beyond agent power. So that's wonderful. Thanks. Let's move up to our, our next question then and kind of sure. see what we've got. Um, yeah. Tell us more about the resources, innovative technology, office view in Hawaii looking gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, Steph. I mean, I hope people listen really carefully to this portion of our webinar today because Resources are just one of the big ways, the biggest way, in, in fact, that Avoya Travel distance itself from its competition. Just the sheer number of people employed versus the number of people that are in our network, that ratio combined with the fact that as a company, Avoya Travel does not sell travel, only those in the Avoya network do the selling. So our job is to support that network so they can achieve higher levels of sales and do so in the most efficient manner possible and that's what the heart of our shared success business model is all about. We start with travel agent education powered by Avoya. Avoya offers new to travel education with travel agent education powered by Avoya. So you can hit the ground running and gain that foundational knowledge you need to feel confident while starting your own adventure as a travel advisor. You're building a strong foundation for your new business. Increase travel sales right out of the gate with a comprehensive self-paced program that teaches the basics of the travel industry and entrepreneurship, paving the way to become a travel, uh, a certified travel advisor. And oh yeah, how about results, right? In the first six months that the program's been running, they're just staggering. When you consider those graduates are doing double the sales, closing at a much higher ratio, and they're doing so for more commissions. So talk about a big win-win. And then of course there's agent power, a voice proprietary in-house, technology. It's designed to simplify and streamline your daily operations so that you can uh, have that intricate workspace all in one place, packed with a full customer relation management CRM system, integrated search and booking engine, accounting, commission tracking, uh, metric performance, real-time customer insights, a detailed promotion finder, appointment setter. I mean, I could go on and on. Agent Power has proven to save independent travel businesses time and money giving you more time to sell travel and explore your passions for travel. It's the heart of why Avoya Travels won the top technology award year after year. Then we can go into our Marketing Resource Center. Avoya's on-demand Marketing Resource Center has made sourcing content for a business a thing of the past. Now, what's included here? Turnkey marketing assets carefully curated by our team of graphic designers, including flyers and email templates, social media images, and more. It helps you engage with travelers and stay ahead of the competition. Plus, we provide businesses with a tailored agency profile, including a user-friendly design that allows customers to search for all sorts of cruises, tours, and resorts. And if that wasn't enough, you can have all these assets customized to your branding by working with our creative services team. I mean, most host agencies don't even have a creative services team, let alone allowing the independent affiliates to customize their marketing. And it leads into our live leads. Technology will do the work with live leads, the industry's first and most innovative travel leads program. Talking about quality clients sent directly to you, whether you're working from home, you're cruising to the Bahamas, you're just chilling poolside, you can access live leads from your phone, on the web, by mobile app. Plus with our predictive technology, you can pinpoint which one of your past clients is most likely to book a vacation next through a Voya Smart Lead program. Easily the biggest game changer in the industry and for a new travel agent, a resource I can't even begin to put a true value on. And then there's of course Avoya Support. Avoya Travel boasts the industry's best support ratio industry-wide with one support staff member to every 11 independent agencies. Although you may own your own business, you're never gonna feel alone with top tier support available seven days a week and again, 
going back to that theme where the world is your oyster wherever you are, Steph. That's great. So really quickly, for um, if uh, Marissa or Annabella, if you wouldn't mind putting in the link to Avoya's, the, the training program for new advisors, because that's something new and really comprehensive, and sending that link for people that, that want to check that out a little bit further. So, um, well, let's see. So let's move to the next slide and we can talk, maybe you can chat with us a little bit more about the benefits of working specifically with Avoya as a travel advisor. You've already covered some, but are there any more? Yeah, I'm going to double down on a couple of them too, Steph, like Live Leave, still the biggest game changer resource offered by any host agency, hands down. Imagine this, your partner doing the front end marketing. They're driving clients to you through the industry's top technology. It's backed by exclusive deals and promotions negotiated by Avoid Travel, all while not costing you anything, not a dime up front. In fact, it's all done on a commission split basis. So you only factor in anything when you actually collect the money after a client has, you know, a lead is converted to a client that buys a trip, that takes the trip, that gets a commission. So you know how powerful those leads are if we're willing to do all that front end work and we know we're going to get our investment back on, on the back end. And to top it off, it still accounts for the majority of sales in our network. And in 2019, right, that's still the standard year a lot of people compared to prior to COVID. That number was almost $500 million in gross sales, and we're currently on a record pace in 2023. So crunch those numbers. And I think when you do, you're going to you know, check out one of those links and put in that request at avoidnetwork.com. And then again, doubling down on Avoya support, live support, seven days a, war, a, a week. I mean, just amazing. Support resources available 24-7. Carrie and her team are amazing and make a huge difference in the success of the network. We hear it all the time from those that leave other networks. I could never reach anyone. They acted like they didn't care, like I didn't matter. Well, that's not the case with Avoya Travel in our support department. Networking and travel opportunities. I mean, we're at all the major industry events. We host numerous exclusive events for our network. We make sure you have all the opportunities to connect with the important players in the travel industry, the suppliers, the vendors, your fellow independent affiliates in the Avoya network, the top brass from Avoya Travel. We make sure that that resource is available for you. And then professional development and education from early success to brand sales. We have sales and business coaching that makes a real difference. Remember when I said Avoya Travel doesn't sell travel and only our network does? This is why we have business coaching. This is why we have sales coaching. These amazing resources in professional development, because at the end of the day, of course, in order to be successful, we want our affiliates to sell more, to be more successful and to capture their full potential as travel advisors. So uh, we make it really easy to get started in the industry with Avoya, the resources to help get you from that absolute ground floor to being a multi-million dollar selling agency, if that's your goal. When we say best in class, we mean best in class. So find out for yourself and continue to grow as an independent travel business owner through the Avoya Travel Network. That's perfect. Now, I know a couple of people have logged on a little bit late. So just a note, the QR code on the screen, you can scan that to learn more about Avoya if you're interested in it. But Chris, can you tell us more about the support that Avoya can provide for growing the business of their travel advisors network and expanding their clientele. Absolutely. Let's start with some statistics because we know we love them, right? Numbers don't lie. <laughs> the average Avoya affiliate Steph books over $350,000 in sales every year compared to $200,000, which is the second highest network. And then it dramatically falls off, to, falls off after that. Imagine a waterfall, Avoya at the top and then big, big nosedive. From there, we're far and away the industry leader when it comes to average affiliate sales. And that's something that makes a huge difference to the vendors, how and where and when they spend those marketing dollars, which again, trickles down to the benefit of being in the industry. I can't say it enough, live leads, I'm gonna keep hitting on this when the industry leading program sends new clients exclusively to you, matched to your specialties based on their vacation interest through our patented technology, Agent Power. You'll never have to worry about competing with other Avoya network members for clients as leads are sent to you and only you. We're providing a solution to one of the biggest challenges travel professionals face, and it's available at no additional cost. Our Marketing Resource Center provides state-of-the-art deployable assets to, to really resonate, not to mention all of the network opportunities to share ideas and strategies 
with other leading affiliates and the top travel vendors in the world, Avoya Travel is constantly evolving, improving its process. We're always thinking years and years into the future as we built the host agency of the future and we're doing it right now. You know, you're, you're talking about the stats and you're also talking about um, the live leads being a solution for so many advisors. And just to, just a note on that from the HAR side. So when we do our annual survey, which we just wrapped up, we always ask for new advisors, what's your biggest what's your biggest pain point and challenge as you're entering the industry? And every year it's finding those new clients is the biggest pain point, which makes tons and tons of sense. So. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it's difficult to find clients, especially in this environment with technology. I mean, it really has, you know, kind of scaled up. So if you don't have the ability to scale up with it, it can be really hard to kind of micro market in this day and age. Exactly. Well, do you have some um, success stories from besides the one with the around the world cruise on the satellite phone on the way to Antarctica? What are some other like inspiring <laughs> stories from your network? Absolutely, Steph. This is the section you get to geek out on all of these kind of testimonials and the stats. And I have three testimonials to share. And yes, two pages of statistics to share. So I know you love that. <laughs> uh, we're going to start with one of the nicest people working in the travel industry, my good buddy, Brando Quinn, owner of Brando's Fun and Sun Travel, uh, an independent agency in the Avoya Network. Brando says, my affiliation with Avoya Travel has allowed my agency to thrive, even while traveling with my wife to world-renowned areas of the world. Thank you, Avoya. Five stars, two thumbs up, way up. I've been fortunate enough to run my business from ocean and river cruise cabins, as well as hotel rooms around the world. He said he even booked a cruise while zip lining in Costa Rica. It's a great visual too, right? You're, Dangerous. You got your computer there <laughs> and you're zip lining through the jungle and you're like sending somebody over on a river cruise. It's kind of a cool little visual right there. And then from Tony Sasso, owner of Tony's Travel Biz LLC, also an independent agency in the Avoy Network, who we just featured last week on my show On Deck with Avoy. And let me tell you, his story is amazing. It's inspirational. And hopefully uh, my team can drop a link to that yeah, in the comments. Yeah, I was just going to say, drop a link in the comments so we can check it out. Absolutely. I think it's going to resonate with a lot of people. And Tony says, my laptop goes where I go. When I was on the Celebrity Beyond for the Avoya Travel 2022 conference, I booked two more celebrity cruises and I instantly received extra onboard credit for myself due to the bookings. Talk about instant feedback and gratification. I mean, again, right? Boom, you sell the cruise, you get the onboard credit. And then finally from Jenny Shrimshire, owner of Voyages by Jenny LLC, uh, an independent agency in the Avoya Network. Last summer, she had the opportunity, the unique opportunity to escort a large tour group to the 150th Open at St. Andrews <laughs> and another group on a Baltic cruise. I rented an apartment in Edinburgh for my family and I was able to work in Europe virtually and seamlessly for two months. It was an incredible adventure for our family. And I'm so glad I was able to keep my agency, Voyages by Jenny, going using agent power. So there it is, that amazing point where technology meets up with client demand and opportunity to create something really, really unique. And, and that, just for people that don't know, before this, when we went live, I was telling Chris, I, I don't even know what the open is. Is that like tennis, golf, basketball? I have no idea. For those that don't know, it is golf if you're and, not a sports person like me. <laughs> and, and of course we were bugging Jenny because she goes so highbrow on it too and just calls it the Open. Like here in North America, we would call it the British Open because the US Open would be our, the Open. But uh, <laughs> since they founded golf and invented the, the silly game, I guess they're able to have first dibs on, on Chasing that. a ball on a green field, just keep chasing it. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, let's chase down some stats, two whole pages of stats and I'm gonna, run through these pretty quick. More than 84% of independent agencies in the Avoya network take at least one international trip per year. 50% of independent agents in, the, uh, agents in the Avoya network take three or more domestic trips per year. 85% of independent agents in the Avoya network travel for pleasure more than three times per year. 85% of our agents in the network log on to Agent Power at least once a day to run their travel business while they're traveling for pleasure. So again, that's where it intersects, right? Over 94% of independent agents in the Avoya network believe that agent power makes it easy for them to work from anywhere or transfer their workspace. 84% believe that agent power simplifies their business workspace and daily activities. 
89% of the independent agents believe that Avoya's resources and technology save their business valuable time and money. 97%, whew, huge stat there, of independent agents in the Avoya network believe that Avoya travel and agent power allows them to work from anywhere, even outside of their home office. And over 94% of independent agents of the Avoya network believe that agent power has made remote work life possible for them. And our last one, 89% of independent agents in the Avoya network feel a sense of professional freedom as an independent agency owner in the Avoya network. So there you have it, right from the horse's mouth, our amazing affiliates in the Avoya network. And, you know, Steph, I'm just proud to represent a company like Avoya Travel that does so much for those in our network because I really bought into this concept of shared success when I first joined Avoya Travel. And I did so over 10 years ago. I was originally an owner and an affiliate in the Avoya network, moved over to the employee side. And over the last 10 years, as I've become the director of network expansion, that belief in that concept, shared success, hasn't changed. And I really love seeing how that uh, just generates itself in those actual results and numbers. Yeah, and thank you to those of us, those that are just logging on now. Just a few quick things. If you have questions, pop them in the comments. We are going to, we have lots of great ones coming in that I've been seeing. So we will be answering those at the end. And in the meantime, feel free to scan the QR code if you want to learn a little bit more information about Avoya. It will take them over to the website. So Chris, we've talked a lot about the tools that you have, how you've helped uh, the advisors within your network expand and grow their business. Um, how do you, when we're comparing you to other host agencies, how does Avoya differentiate itself from the others that are out there in terms of the support that you provide advisors? I mean, if all the host agencies and franchise miles lined up for like a NASCAR style race, we're going back to sports, I know. I know. <laughs> you, just blur your eyes like you understand, right? <laughs> So, so if we all lined up for a NASCAR style race about the support that each provided their network, you'd see on the big TV screen, a boy of travel listed as the race leader. And then next to all the other competitors, it would list the number of laps down they are to a boy of travel in, in the area of support. And it would be numerous laps. I mean, I'm going to brag for a second, but this is just an area where a boy of travel, we are so far and away the best in class when it comes to support available seven days a week, real people helping real people pick up the phone, get a person, support resources available 24 hours a day, a knowledgeable staff to help resolve issues every day. Every day I work, I hear a story about how our support department helped another agency work through a, a problem, find success, something that elevates the network. It's access to a collaborative peer network. We don't drive a competition wedge between our affiliates. Unlike other networks, we pride ourselves on having the best support ratio industry-wide. Again, that support ratio, 1 to 11, uh, it's pretty amazing. We're proud to say that our net promoter score is the highest it's ever been. You know, Starbucks with a, with a net promoter score in the 70s is kind of like the standard bearer for like the Fortune 500 companies. And we lap them a couple of times when it comes to net promoter score. So pretty amazing stuff there, Steph. That's amazing. So uh, let's change the channel and we can talk about training and education opportunities that are available to the advisors that are within the Avoya network. What do you got for us there? Well, we're going to start with new to travel because they really are. It's so important. And for, for so many years, there was a worry within the travel industry that where's that next generation of travel agents coming from? Who's going to help propel our industry to even higher heights. And, and of course, companies like Host Agency Reviews have done a wonderful job in helping people kind of sort through the clutter. And, and I'm going to start with those new to travel, that travel agent education. Again, our platform is called Travel Agent Education Powered by Avoya. It's a dynamic and comprehensive travel advisor curriculum that just delivers results. I mean, early success, we're already seeing numbers that are doubling what people who didn't have to take the education have done. Uh, I mean, paying for itself in just a matter uh, of months for people that are making that investment. 35 to 40 hours of online self-paced lessons, real support is needed. The kind of preparation you need to hit the ground running as a new advisor in this very competitive industry. Education matters, and it directly leads to higher sales, higher commissions, less customer service issues, all the benchmarks for early success. And it includes memberships in, in CLIA, Cruise Line International Association, and the American Society of Travel Advisors. 
And that CLIA membership, by the way, has like $3,000 worth of bonus commission. So talk about yeah. setting yourself up for early success. And then That's professional fantastic. development education, right? So one leads right into the other. Avoya University, it's overseen by our amazing network enrichment team. Foundations for the Early Success Program. I just can't say enough about the knowledge shared by these sales coaches and business coaches in early success. I mean, helping agency after agency launch successfully, uh, it's just amazing. And then another game changer, in my opinion, offered exclusively by Avoya Travel, and that's our Avoya brand sales team. Imagine having a team staff of dedicated sales experts on the biggest brands that you're going to sell in leisure travel. Dedicated. I mean, knowing these brands inside and out, helping you to understand those brands, helping you to tailor your approach in selling those brands as you see your sales go higher and higher. Specialization is a key to success in 2023. You hear it from so many experts and brand sales is a key component in Avoy Travel's continued success in leading our industry. So one of the things... Uh uh, that especially I, I think with COVID that popped up is there's so many changes that are happening in the industry. That's always been something that happens, got really bad during COVID, but it's still happening where there's all these changes. There's new ships coming out, there's cancellations, there's strikes. Um, so how do you help your network stay up to date with the latest travel trends and industry news? Yeah, I mean, there's numerous ways that we try to stay on top of that. Uh, internally, we have a great This Week at Avoya that happens on a weekly basis where it's hosted by some of the top uh, leaders of our company. And we talk about really what's going on this week, not only with Avoya, but the industry at large, some new promotions that might be launching, any special promotions, things that we want to flag and make sure that our independent affiliates have access to. And that's done live. And then just like this webinar here, available to watch back if they were not able to watch that uh, in a live setting. There's the show that I'm proud to host on deck with Avoya, your weekly travel update. Uh, we do that every Thursday, you know, as much as we can. Uh, live on Facebook, archived on YouTube, also posted on LinkedIn. Uh, you can follow all our social media channels at Avoya Travel Network. And we also do weekly webinars for the network itself. And then dedicated events. We have our land forum next week, actually in Puerto Vallarta. We hosted agencies on exclusive trips to the Mediterranean this year river cruises through Europe. We had a big group of people at Turks and Caicos earlier in the year. Just lots of amazing ways to engage, not only with the full network, but all of its possibilities and, and all of the vendors and the important key things that you need in order to be able to move your business forward. And the On Deck with Avoya, the weekly show that you do, that can be for people that are outside of Avoya if they wanna get a taste of kind of the education. Is that correct? If they are on your social profiles? Absolutely. At On Deck with Avoya, it's a public show and we're we're happy it's to host a too. variety. Right. We had Stefan as a guest not too long ago. We're certainly proud of that. We've got that episode. In fact, we could drop a link to that one, too, for all I, you know, hopefully here in just a second. But we try to talk to people that are employees of Avoya Travel because we want to highlight, Steph, just the depth of the talent pool that actually works for Avoya Travel. When we talk about resources, it's one thing. But when you can kind of see the faces and say, oh, my goodness, they paraded out another person and another person and another person. When you compare that some of the leading host agencies have thousands and thousands in their network and their employees barely get out of the teens as far as total number of people that work for the company, it really shows a difference. We have industry leaders like yourself, people from the top vendors. We get to highlight some of the people in the Avoya Travel Network. So I'm really proud that we just recently surpassed our 100th episode and we're still going strong yay! as we, we move into year number three. Yay, yay. Well, let's talk about the role that tech plays in the future of travel advising. I'll tell you, Steph, uh, if in 2023, if this is the first time your partner is really talking about the power of technology, about the role of technology in selling leisure travel, I got bad news. They're living light years in the past. Um, but thankfully, Avoya Travel is a very, very technology forward company. It's always been in our DNA and it comes directly from our top leadership and the commitment made by both our CEOs, Jeff and Mike Anderson, co-CEOs, and the very top of the leadership chain at Avoya Travel. Uh, Avoya Travel is one of the top host agency technology every year that award has been awarded. And it's been it is now, and it will drive our innovations in the future. We just really believe in the concept of technology 
and where that intersects with personal service, right? We don't believe technology can do everything, but we think it does a lot of things. It helps cut through the cutter, uh, cut through the clutter, easy for me to say, and help intersect at that right level where personal service and technology can create a sweet spot where the traveler gets a better deal. They're working with a small business owner. They have all the resources backed by a big company like Avoy Travel. And we're enhancing that by our new partnership with Travel Leaders Network, where we're proud to have just received their new Agency of the Year Award at the 2023 EDGE Conference in Nashville. I mean, Travel Leader Network, their partnership, many new technology additions coming down the pipeline, including the finalized version of Avoya Flights and a new industry game changer that's in the works. And one of the things I just want to say is that if you look at Avoya's history, and, and we've been in business for over 50 years in one form or another, Avoya has always been very innovative. So when you look at Avoya Travel and joining a company powerful like the Travel Leaders Network, as we unpack all of the opportunities that are available there and then kind of juice them up with everything that Avoya does, it's going to be pretty amazing. That's all I'm going to say. Yes. Well, so question for you. With It's so popular. Everybody wants to be able to work from anywhere right now and do the remote work. Do you think that that's something is, that's going to be here to stay? Like people are going to still want to work and travel and be able to marry those two? Yeah, I think so. I don't think anybody's stuffing that genie back into the bottle you know, and, and the fact is, is that the travel industry is very, very forward thinking on this idea too, right? I mean, I think even pre-COVID, most agencies were kind of already remote. And since the pandemic, it's no doubt that remote work has been extremely prevalent in all industries. I mean, even with many professionals returning back to the office, uh, Martha Stewart getting up on her soapbox saying everybody should, New data shows that the gap between the share of remote workers and those reporting on site appears to be narrowing after a long period of drifting apart. That's from Forbes. I know our network loves that freedom while having the ability to enjoy successful and robust businesses. We're very committed to the idea of remote work. Uh, one third of our workforce, those who directly work for Avoid Travel, was remote pre COVID. Of course, that number has grown like so many companies, but yeah, it, it's not going anywhere. And as long as new technologies and Wi-Fi continues to be open to larger parts of the world, the possibilities really remain endless. Well, let's flip the tables really quick because we've talked about what you provide to the advisors, but how can people that join Avoya, they can use the resources and technology. What do you have available there to provide the best possible service on the client side of things? Yeah, so important, right, Steph? Great question because... Yeah. I mean, again, Avoid Travel doesn't directly sell. So if we don't provide the resources that actually helps an advisor resonate with the end user, which is the travel client, it really means nothing. And it starts with marketing. Avoya suite of award-winning, innovative marketing resources are designed to help you engage travelers and just stay top of mind throughout that planning and booking process. Personalized agency profilers showcase your independent agency with a tailored agency profile, your co-branded informational page, provides a user-friendly, innovative design for clients to search for travel deals and contact you when they're ready to take that next step. And then real-time customer insights. This is where our commitment to things like business intelligence pays such a big, big dividend. Take the guesswork out of your client's activity and gain actionable insights into how they're engaging with communications and quotes you send, what vacations they've been researching online and more. Real-time insights are delivered directly to your dashboard on Agent Power through a voice customer activity stream. Again, a big differentiator for our network. Yeah, that's huge. So in terms of the support you provide, there's the new ex and the experienced advisors, which both have different sets of needs at different times in their career. So what kind of support is available for both of those groups? Yeah, so we'll start with our good friends at New to Travel. And again, welcome to the industry, right? It's an exciting industry to be part of. Again, you know, there's the travel agent education powered by Avoya. Then there's the new clients matched to your specialty and, and sent directly to you via Avoya Live Leads. Really helps you get off the ground running. And really what it does too is it not only helps you make sales quicker, but it kind of helps you just get that repetitive nature of anything, right? Like the first time you rode a bike and, and, and whoever was helping you let go of that at the back of the bike and you rode it on your own, you're a little wobbly. But like a couple months later, right, here you are going down the street like you're a champ. It's the same thing. The more you deal with clients, the more you help them get a quote, 
the more you answer those questions, the better you become at it. So as you generate your own clients, you're going to have that ability to close them at a much higher level. And then you do so with top tier supplier commissions, best in class development, uh, professional development and education, world class marketing capabilities. And again, just the top tech, uh, technology that simplifies everything in your day to day. And then experience is such a large concept because there's those that are experienced but still struggling right in the beginning phases. I mean, they're making some sales and, and they've got, you know, maybe gross sales in the 50, 60, up to $100,000 a year, but they want to take that to the next step. They could do so and expand their growth through our flexible solutions, customizing to meet their unique needs of their business, professional development that meets them no matter where they are in the journey, smart technology, that data intelligence to provide valuable insights into your business needs and performance. And then as you become a luxury advisor, we've got the resources to help at the top tier as well. Seven days a week, first class professional development opportunities. We really have the resources to help agencies of all levels. And with more innovations to come, you should definitely get involved now. And we're excited to hear from everybody at avoyannetwork.com or on any of the QR codes that uh, Steph's been great enough to post today. Yeah, well, let's pop up your contact information too, because I've seen tons of questions coming in. For those that have hopped on late, there's a couple things I want to mention. One, this is recorded, so you can the YouTube link that you're at, you can always go back and watch it. Um, just come to the same place. Um, the QR code, if you're interested in learning more about Avoya, you can snap a picture with your uh mobile phone, and it will take you to more information on Avoya and their passport to freedom. Um, But let's start jumping into our questions, Chris. And if you're tuning in and you have questions, just drop them in there. We will get to them. So first one is from JC Vu, and they answer ask, what's Avoya's commission structure? Do they allow booking for myself? And if so, do they restrict how many per month or year, et cetera? I mean, the first thing I would say on that is we don't restrict in any way, but our, our network is designed for somebody that's looking to run a serious travel business, right? I mean, if the whole goal of being advisor is just to get your own personal uh, benefits, there's probably other agencies that are better designed for that. But with that said, of course, travel is one of the great benefits of being a travel advisor. So yeah, no limitations on that. If the vendor allows you to take the commissions out on the front end, you can do that. If not, it has to be a situation where we just rebate the commissions back to you. you get, you're able to travel without paying the commission from that standpoint or or the travel deal that you might find through the vendor, whatever the best situation is. Our, our commission structure is twofold because we have the exclusive live leads. And of course, then there's your own personal business. So your personal business is set up on an 80-20 commission split. The advisor gets 80% of boy of the 20. And that's because they're doing the hard work. They're, they're doing that marketing on the front end, generating the client to the point that it actually converts into a client. And then the flip on that for an Avoya live lead, the split is 30, 70, 30 to the advisor. Again, Avoya is investing millions and millions of dollars in making sure that lead is ready and it has all the bells and whistles to be able to close, hopefully. Uh, so those are our two commission splits, Steph. Perfect. Um, and then we have another one from Anaya uh, Maria saying, do you need to live in the U.S. or have a U.S. address to join Avoya? Yeah, you do, sadly, in this case, because so many countries have their own restrictions, right? Like even places like Canada, which we have strong marketing and we sell to Canadian clients. But from like a Canadian travel advisor, they have things like their TICO regulations. Quebec has unique uh, situation because of their language laws. So you do have to live in the United States. But once you live in the United States and and, and once you've set up, of course, the world is your oyster. Travel as you will spend as much time as long as that could be, you know, done uh, from the standpoint of we send you the paperwork at the end of the year and you're able to take care of your part with good old Uncle Sam. Perfect. Um, Another one from JC. So are the leads based on the region you live in or will I get anyone from around the world? Good question. Yeah, I mean, the vast majority of our leads are going to be sourced from people in North America, but we just the way the internet works these days, we definitely get some leads from other places around the world. They're not geographically sent to you, JC. They are more done on a knowledge system. So our specialties are done by somebody who's an, a, an expert, a master in that specific specialty. And then through the technology, it's offered in kind of a descending order. But we generate hundreds of thousands of opportunities. But yeah, not done geographically. Although with the Travel Leaders Network and, the, and their agent profiler, 
There is a geographic component to that, but that's really our relationship with, with TLN versus Avoya directly. Our live leads are actually uh, not geographic, they're specialty based. So I think that's important to point out too that uh, advisors that are joining the Avoya network have access to two lead programs. So the Travel Leaders Network, Agent Profiler, and then the Avoya specific one. And I, I just wanna highlight that with a big asterisk too, because the, the leads coming out of the profiler are actually, uh, on, at least right now, are set up on an 80% split. So even though they're technically Avoya clients because of our relationship with TLN, those that are selling to those particular clients in our network are doing so at an 80% commission ratio. And then again, that's because we just felt it was fair, especially as we're unpacking the relationship with TLN. And it's not Avoya's marketing dollar so much it is doing that. So we felt it was just a fair split. Just wanted to make that clear. That's perfect. Thank you. So JC has a tough one. They're asking, could you narrow down to the five most important features to look for in a host agency? Well, I mean, it depends on what your goals are too, right? So, I mean, if I was talking to JC, we'd have a little deeper conversation in order to be able to, to answer that. But I think, I think it's, uh, do they have the ability for you to be competitive in this industry? So if you have a client, let's face it, even if grandma calls you on the phone and grandma wants to book a trip, grandma's going to like, oh, I love you, sweetie. I'm going to send you some cookies. And then she's going to price shop you, right? That's just the nature of how things work in, in life in 2023. So you have to be in a situation where you can be competitive to close the deal. That certainly has to be in my top five. I don't know if that, then you have to have the resources, right? Like now that you know the price, how are you going to share that price, right? How are you going to set this up for success for yourself? How are you going to strategize to be able to close the sale? And that's where things like, business coaching and sales coaching come in handy so that you're not just sending a quote and making some noise, trying to make a little ripple in the pond. You're the big wave that's coming in, going to close this because you have the, the confidence and the knowledge to, to be able to position this in the right way. Um, does your partner compete with you? What is How is their bread buttered, right? I mean, it's important to know how your partner eats at the end of the day. If their bread is buttered because they're competing with you, then who do you think their number one priority is? You or them? Well, yeah, we don't need too much time to think about that one, right? So join a network or, or at least think if that's important to you. Avoid, we don't compete with our affiliates. We don't have any side of our company that actually sells travel. How many was that, Steph? I got lost in the shuffle. I think, it, I think it's four. Okay, so I need to come up with one more. I and then again, I'm just going to double down on professional development because I think it, it really makes a huge difference, again, in, in being able to take that thing through the full cycle. Finding a client is just part of the cycle. Selling to the client is just part of the cycle. Managing the booking is part of the cycle. When the client hears something on the news in an area in the country that they're going to, but it has nothing to do with where they're going, you might still have to talk them off a ledge. And, and do you have the ability to do that? So find a partner that can help you manage that booking through the full cycle. And then how do they pay? I'll throw in number five. There's an important one. How do you get paid? We pay our affiliates on a weekly basis. We don't hold back the money. If it comes in house during our accounting week, we get it off to our independent affiliates via direct deposit the following week. That's perfect. So, and JC, if you do have more questions and want it more specialized to you, you can always drop Chris an email and set up a time uh, with his email on the screen. So, Matthew has the question, can you talk more about the leads program? Are the leads routed to certain advisors based on their experience, gross sales? How does kind of that algorithm work? Yeah, it's going to certainly take into account their performance, right? So one of the misconceptions, so as Steph is like our live leads is like playing Jeopardy. You ever watch Jeopardy and they struggle? Sure they struggle to, 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 they know the answer. They struggle to, to click in first and they go crazy and they're banging that button like nothing. It's not like that at all. We generate hundreds of thousands of live leads through the widest you know, areas of specialty. So you become a specialty in a certain vendor. It, you become a, eligible to be able to claim live leads in that vendor. When there's a live lead that becomes available, it is going to open it up based on performance so that in a split second ahead, the agency that might be the top rank, say uh, from one to 100, the 100 is going to have the first little opportunity and their, their bell might ring a little sooner 
but in the quick descending order, because again, keeping in mind customer service, we have to route that client with an advisor in the most timely manner to have the best chance for it to close. Um, but when you factor in our whole network, over 1,500 affiliates, those live leads account for the majority of sales in our network. Over 50% of the sales in our network come from a live lead. We're talking about numbers that were hundreds of millions of dollars um, in the last several years. So just to make sure I understand, so the, the lead comes in, it'll go to whoever is the algorithm ranks as the best. They'll have, they singly get that lead, but they have like a time frame where they can accept it. And if they don't, then it moves to next in line. Is that right? Kind of, yeah. And it moves really quick in a descending order, right? And then there's another one behind it and behind it and behind it and behind it. You know what I mean? So the, the leads are not just coming in kind of like in a trickle. Um, these are coming yeah. in full force. We, we, we make sure that our marketing is out there in the areas. We know how to turn the spigot on more, turn it on less. Um, it's all a dollars and cents kind of an equation. And we make sure that there's plenty of opportunities. The one thing I'm, I say proudly, Steph, they can look on your side. Anybody that has anything to do with, with travel agents, they're not going to find anywhere this statement. I was closing business with Avoya Live Leads and Avoya didn't have enough business for me to close. Mm-hmm. This doesn't happen. Yeah. Um, let's, JC has a couple more questions. I'm loving these questions, loving your interaction. So first question is, does Avoya offer any discounts for the training, initial fees, et cetera, at this time? We have a, we have a veterans promotion. We're very proud of our, our relationship with the U.S. military. So we have a veterans promotion for either those that have served, do serve, or their spouses, because we know the spouses really in so many ways serve right along with them. So we definitely do. My team is more than happy to, uh, to you know, qualify somebody, help them get qualified for that promotion if it's something that they would qualify for. Perfect. And then another one from JC. So most of us, including myself, are in technology, management, et cetera. How do I convince them, um, the clients, that they're not paying more by using a travel advisor, advisor or not paying much more? Not shouldn't be paying more, you know, in most respects, right? I mean, we get paid by the by the vendors via commission basis, right? So while some agents out there talk about service fees and things like that, because it does cut through the clutter and, and through the noise, uh, their knowledge is, is, is a valuable experience. You can't call the plumber and not expect that you're going to get a big old fee from the second they hit your front door, no matter what ends up happening in, in resolving your problem. So the knowledge that a travel advisor has is invaluable. But the, but the reality is, is that you're getting to work with a professional that's been there. When you book something online, here's what happens, right? I'll just, I'll just walk you through. I've been in this part of the world before. So you book something online and, the, and let's say you're staying at a resort. They get that booking and they say, John Smith booked this online through big giant conglomerate online agency A. I can stick John in the worst room possible, right? Because what happens if John shows up and he has a bad experience? Who's John calling? Some call center in some third world country to try to get through to get his resolution taken care of? Client B comes through through your agency. And you have a relationship with the BDM, the business development manager for the resort company that oversees the property your people are staying. They check in. They're unsatisfied. They reach out to you. You reach out to the BDM. The BDM gets on the phone. He's in, in the general manager at the hotel properties here. Next thing you know, Mr. Smith has not only been reaccommodated into a room that's much more satisfactory to his results, but he may have gotten an upgrade, something to take care of the problem. You have relationships. You have the knowledge. You have firsthand boots on the ground information. Some of it might come down to sales technique, but your technology friends, if they're only shopping online for something like that, they are literally leaving money on the table. Yeah, it's true. And a lot of help. So, Amen. Um, Anna, yeah, Maria also has another question. Is there a timeline or sales required before obtaining the CLIA and ASTA membership? That one that comes with the new advisor training. No, that one comes uh, straight away, right? We've worked out an exclusive deal with CLIA that we're actually able to um, offer those memberships straight from from, from the time that they become an affiliate. And even if they were to join us, say they were to have done another education or they have the, the minimum experience to join without the travel agent education powered by Avoya, they can still straight away join with both ASTA and CLIA 
Now, the IOTA card, which a lot of people want, they are very strict about their requirements, about doing the $5,000 in earned commissions paid to you and the whole nine yards. And, and of course, it's their organization. We can't supersede their requirements. Mm -hmm. So, um, oh, shoot, I had a question, but I can't remember it. So let's move on. We've got um, Janessa was asking, she was having trouble finding Avoya on Facebook. So um, if the Avoya team wouldn't mind just putting the link into your Facebook page and then um, on YouTube and then Janessa can can find that. Um, For sure. And it's at Avoya Travel Network. I mean, so if she searched uh, Avoya Travel Network, you're going to find us for, for this side as far as engaging with us about being a, an agent. And then Avoya Travel, avoyatravel.com is our consumer driven site. So, you know, we do have the site, of course, through the live leads that are dealing with consumers. And then the Avoya Network more deals with our affiliates. Perfect. Yeah. So, Janessa, they'll, they'll put the link in there for the Avoya Travel Network, and then you'll be able to watch those on deck uh, webinars you're wondering about or podcasts. So, um let's see same question so jc you wrote something saying also same question for fam trips i'm not sure what you're referring to so if you wouldn't mind popping in a little bit more context on that we can get to it i can i can give um, a quick overview on fam i probably have an idea where that one's going you know oh great fam, fam trips are generally run by the travel the travel vendors right so avoy itself doesn't put on specific fams we may offer like academies at sea or our various events at, at a property, but we really don't offer the FAMs. Those are mostly offered by the advisors. Some of them are done at a discounted rate. Some of the times, once you become a hitter in this industry and you start putting up volume, they want you to see the newest that they have, the latest that they have, and so you're gonna get direct um, invites from them. So our travel advisors travel at a discount all the time. They're able to access all the FAMs. Everything that's available to a professional travel advisor in our industry is available to avoid a travel with the exception of the fact that we're not an ARC agency. So we don't ticket our own airfare. Mm -hmm. Question from Matthew. Are there particular niches that get more out of partnering with Avoya than others? For instance, if you were with cruises or domestic travel, is there something you're more specialized in? I mean, I want to say our big specialties are going to be cruise, tour, river cruise, all inclusive, family vacations. If people are taking those family vacations, we have the right resources to be able to resonate with those, right? I mean, so we're not a corporate agency. We don't for focus on corporate agency. Some standalone hotels, we're not going to be the top in the game because, again, there's not a lot of commissions there. If you're air only, we're not a really great agency for you. Uh, although with our new Avoya Flights program, we're certainly going to be incredibly competitive in that environment. But leisure travel, that's where we really bat incredibly strong. Again, using a sports analogy on you there, Steph. That means you're. <laughs> that means if you're good. Uh, <laughs> That's in tennis, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> right. Um, so, I mean, again, we're, we're just proud of our standing where we are in the industry, and we know we have the right right resources. That if you're a leisure based agent, we can certainly assist. Perfect. Um, so, a lot of questions came in about the live leads program that were. Um, kind of wondering with the algorithm, how that works with new advisors. Do they get live leads last because they don't have a close ratio? It's not even a matter um, of last. Yeah. I mean, they get they get lots of opportunities. We have so many stories of agents that have come in with zero sales. We have an agency, uh, Ryan Warshaw uh, and his partner, Dave Levine. And we can, again, there's another one from on deck. We can drop a link in. These guys joined our agency brand new. They had worked at Best Buy in the past. They left that, started their agency. And in the first year, with over 80% of their business from Avoya Live Leads, they surpassed over a million dollars in gross sales. Just in this calendar year alone, they're well over a million dollars. We have numerous stories of people like that that come in in the first year, propelled by those live leads are able to. So while you are gonna get your ample opportunities to, to be able to close those, we're also gonna do it in a way that through things like our Foundations for Early Success Program, our brand sales team, that business and sales coaching, give you the resources to actually help you close them so that you move up in the algorithm. Be engaged. If mm -hmm. you're engaged, you're going to find success. We've got clients that want to take trips. So that's not an issue. Yeah. And then, so Rachel is asking, once an advisor is sent a lead, does that lead become the travel advisor's customer or does Avoya retain ownership of that client? Yeah, we retain ownership of the client, but, but she would remain the advisor of record as long as that client's working in the Avoya network. So if they put in another request 
or let's say they claim a lead and it doesn't close right away, right? Even though it remains a voice client, if that person puts in a new request, we funnel it back to them. We believe in that concept of relationships being established. So it remains a VOIA client, but they remain the agency of record. Many of our affiliates are booking millions of dollars in gross sales per year, just doing repeat business with clients that they've closed in the years past. Perfect. Janessa is asking, what is the commission percentage on the live leads? Can we run through that again? Yeah, it's 30% for the agency, 70% for Avoya. Avoya is investing the millions of dollars on the front end to make sure that has the relationships, the unique sales prices, the unique group space, all of the bells and whistles that it takes to be competitive in this huge industry. So yeah, it's 30% there, 80% for your personal business. But I would remind people, don't get caught up with the split. The split is not the number that matters. The number that matters is the direct deposit that goes into your bank account on Thursdays, right? And that number is the one that you want to focus on because that number is the one that avoid affiliates lead the industry in. Jennifer has another question. Can you tell us a little more about the benefits and the processes of agent power? Yeah, I mean, talk about just an amazing piece of technology, direct booking engines, your calendar, all of your CRM. It's pretty amazing. I mean, the the, the, the benefits are numerous in, in how you manage your business, how you keep track of your leads, how you claim your live leads, how you interact with the live leads, how you follow up on the process, how you check your sales reports and your commission summaries your insights, your customer activity stream. I mean, there's a laundry list. I'm not going to do it like a laundry list, but there's a lot of benefits there of being part of a, you know, agent power and avoid travel. Uh, Janessa has, do you recommend, you know, insurance? And for those that aren't familiar, that's errors and emissions insurance. So do you recommend it? And if so, who do you recommend? We do recommend it. We don't require it, right? We, we make that a business decision. Uh, up to the independent affiliate, but we do recommend, it's just smart business if you ask me. There's several big players. Uh, I would say, I'll give you three that I know uh, do big space as far as in the travel industry. Aon is certainly the biggest one. Berkshire Hathaway is a name lots of people know in the insurance business. And then there's a company called Hiscox, H-I-S-C-O-X. They're also a big player. Those are the names that I'm gonna see at trade shows and things like that that are working mostly with advisors. Yeah. And just a note on that, like them being at trade shows is important because it shows they understand our particular industry, because while you can get E&O insurance through whoever you get your house policy through or your rental uh, policy through, it's important they understand the nuances of the travel industry and it's not a broadly written E&O policy. Or they're going actually to the same vendors I just mentioned, and then they're just tacking on a service fee for being the middle person, right? So you're getting the same yeah. coverage, you're just paying more for it. Yeah, and someone that has no idea how the travel industry works. because so there are so many nuances to, to know. And I'm also gonna, um, yeah, so April just popped in the link to our article on E&O insurance that kind of explains a little bit more in depth for those that are unfamiliar with it, what it does and doesn't cover, because the errors in emissions part um, sometimes can be a little misleading because it does not cover all errors that you're going to make. Um, let's see. So any more questions, pop those in. Um, we'll wait a few more minutes. Chris, this has been fantastic. Thank you so much for coming on and the, the timing is perfect. The, I was like, oh, are we going to get through all these great <laughs> questions? And bam, we are we are really close. So, you know, this webinar really hits home for what a voyage travel thinks goes into being a great travel advisor, and that's engagement. So I thank everybody that's engaged with us today in this webinar. And we want to keep engaging, right? Whether or not you get your question in here or you reach out to us at avoyanetwork.com, we want to connect you with an affiliation specialist to answer those questions. We've got an amazing story to tell at Avoya Travel, one that is built upon success after success. We are really forward thinking. We have a plan figured out for the future. We're implementing that plan now. We would love for people to be a part of it. So again, reach out. We'd love to continue the conversation, Steph. Yeah, the email address, phone number for Chris is on the screen. You can also scan the QR code and that will take you to Avoya's website where you can more learn more about all the things that Chris talked about today. Ooh, we've got one more question coming in from JC. So let's squeeze this in. So is GDS, and for those that don't know, that's the global distribution system. April will pop a link in for our article that explains more on it. 
But is GDS an important feature offered by some host agencies, Chris? I mean, it can be depending on your business. If you're very air centric, you're very like, say, group hotel centric, um, you know, for like sports teams or things like that, it might be a really great feature for you to have. We don't have it. We haven't had it in the 10 years that I've been in Avoya Travel. It doesn't keep us from doing gross sales in, in hundreds of millions of dollars per year. Um, so from a leisure standpoint, I don't think it's super important to have direct access to a GDS, but everybody's different. So I would never tell you that it's a resource that you don't need. I'm just saying it's one that we found great success and, and we don't find a need for it as much. Yeah. And JC, on my side, I would say the GDS, it, it's essential if you're going to be doing corporate travel and specifically air only travel um meetings and incentives things like that it's very helpful tool uh but there are plenty of host agencies that don't offer the gds and i would like agree with chris that on the leisure side it it really isn't as important of a tool it's a big player on the corporate side though for sure perfect well thank you everyone for joining us this was great thank you for all your questions and interactions um again this will be available to watch uh if you popped in at the end or if you want to pop back in if you wanted to hear a little bit more if you didn't catch everything uh feel free to do that but chris thank you for coming on sharing all of your knowledge and all the information about avoya it was wonderful to learn more about the program Thanks for providing such a great resource, Steph, and everybody at Host Agency Reviews. Again, we value the partnership. We think it's a great tool to be able to research and kind of narrow down your search. And then let's have a great conversation and see if we can do some amazing things as far as the sales of leisure travel for the future, right? Perfect. Well, everyone, enjoy the rest of your day, and we will chat with you all soon. Take care, everyone.